Nancy Selvin, an electronic Crown president of the class of 2015. Thank you. Now, gentlemen, please remove your caps as we honor our country with the singing of a Star Spangled Banner. Class of 2015, here we are. A lot of you never thought that this day would come. The day that I, John Riley, was given a microphone to speak in front of the entire graduating class. When we started high school way back in 2011, things were a little bit different. Last Friday Night by Katy Perry was the most popular song on the radio. LeBron James, had not won an NBA championship, and Mr. Sean Murray had a full head of hair. <laughs> I would like to thank all of the parents and grandparents that are here tonight, especially my own, for raising such wonderful young adults that I've learned will practically do anything for one another. We've all fallen down at some point in our high school careers. Sometimes it's a bad test that trips you up, other times, a tuba gets in your way during an assembly. <laughs> but, but what makes this class special is that there will always be someone to help you back up. And even though the main reason we come to school is to learn, I've learned that it's the students that make it so enjoyable to return each morning. That being said, I've learned a lot in my time at Dow High School from both the students and the teachers. Mr. Mack, my physics teacher taught me that Audrey Molinar is not the center of the universe. <laughs> Joe Fiore taught me that people will go along with anything you say if you say it through a megaphone in a student section. <laughs> Mr. Fry, my American literature teacher, taught me that the grapes of wrath is not a book about angry fruit. <laughs> but if it was, maybe I would have read it. <laughs> Alec Marty taught me that it's possible to score 35 points in one high school basketball game. <laughs> yeah. Senor Bonato and Senor Swanson taught me three years of Spanish. And my senior spring break in Mexico taught me that I wasn't near fluent. 
Ben Roeder taught me that you don't have to be an old fart to enjoy golf. <laughs> and, and Mr. Richards, my government teacher, taught me that Dave Camp is a politician <laughs> and not just a camp for people named Dave. <laughs> And after over seven semesters of learning, it was exciting to know that I had a great spring break to look forward to. As I mentioned earlier, I went to Cabo San Lucas in Mexico with a fantastic group of amigos. And Nate Thurston, and Nate Thurston. Uh, but during the middle of the vacation, the strangest thing happened. I began to miss my teachers. I remember lying on the beach, and for some wild reason, I began to wonder what Mr. Schwarzkopf my freshman geometry teacher was doing for his spring break. And as I sat there tanning and gazing at the water, I concluded that the only tan Mr. Schwarzkopf was getting was sine over cosine. <laughs> that was over two months ago. And now, here we are, all together for one last time, looking back on everything that made high school great. And I'm, I'm not usually one to brag, but it was nice to beat the Midland High Chemics this year. And volleyball, girls swim, boys tennis, girls cross country, hockey, boys basketball, girls basketball, boys swim, wrestling, palm, I'm already out of fingers, cheer, <laughs> girls tennis, girls golf, and a streak ending football game. That was awesome. All would not have been possible without you guys. So, to wrap it up, it's been a great four years. From way back when last Friday night was playing on the radio, to now, our last Friday night together as a class. It flew by, but in all honesty, there is no place I would rather have spent the past four years of my life than at Dow High with all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Next, we have our elected staff speaker, Mr. Rick Shaheen. John took my speech. <laughs> I was informed momentarily ago, or a little bit ago, by Mrs. Castle that we don't get to do the fight song tonight. So I'm sorry for those of you who have not had this. We have to play the fight song tonight. My mother's not here tonight, but she'll be glad to know that all those years of paying for education have paid off. <laughs> Superintendent Sharo, Vice President Brandstadt, Principal Castle, assembled dignitaries, colleagues, families, friends, the Dow High main office staff and custodians who made this event possible, and most importantly, the H.H. Dow High class of 2015. Tonight, I'd like to announce my candidacy for President of the United States. <laughs> I think all the cool kids are doing it, and I just wanted to get it. Okay, whoops, well, this isn't that gathering, is it? So I need to get the other speech, and here comes the serious part. So seniors, you can relax a little bit. Tonight, unbelievably, it's not just about you. Okay? For the parents and grandparents, when I was in high school, for some odd reason, I started thinking about this passage, and tonight, it's your turn. A woman said, speak to us of children. And he said, your children are not your children. 
They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. For life goes not backward nor tarries with yesterday. You are the bows from which your children as living arrows are sent forth. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite, and he bends you with his might that his arrows may go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness, for even as he loves the arrows that fly, he loves also the bow that is stable. That's from Khalil Gibran. But here's also the serious part. 18 or so years ago, miracles happened. You were born. Tears were shed, both by you and by your family. Tears of joy, tears of relief, tears of hope. As your parents beheld you, the universe became possible. There in their arms was perfection the physical manifestation of an unlimited potential. You, as an infant, were the culmination of the dreams of your ancestors for a better life, the yearning of those who came before to leave something better, and the hope that sustained them through their darkest hours. As you grew with each step you took, with each accomplishment you achieved, and with each day you grew, much like a tree in a dreamt of garden. And now you come together again as they recognize that yearning, that hope, that dream which you've become. The tree is fully grown and the fruit is plentiful and sweet, nurtured by careful hands and watered with tears of pride and joy. Your parents' dream continues. It is your time to make it real. Congratulations first to the families of the class of 2015. You've done awfully well. You can give them a hand. Actually, the other speech, not my nomination speech, that I want to give tonight is about the experience of this year's seniors. You have participated in the greatest institution in our republic, the public school system. Education is the dream which lifted the poor from poverty, poverty, the dream which helped immigrants from every corner of the world become Americans, and the dream which united the country. The public schools have made dreams come true throughout our history, even in donor districts like ours. It is the only place in the nation where all walks of life come together, and the best part of this year's class is that you have walked, struggled, and occasionally failed together. Education, whether formal or informal, is a dream which you need to continue. After you leave here, you must make real the vision when you will continue to walk with others different from you. But today, a rapidly changing economy and uncertainty about the world in the new century have led many of our nation's leaders to question the very purpose of education. In states like Wisconsin and Florida, ignorant politicians ridicule the development of free thought in favor of job training. Let me be clear, education has never been about job training. This will make some in the audience bristle. From the ancient Greeks to contemporary times, the purpose of education has always, always been about improving the human condition, both individually and collectively. Education not only gives us the tools to work together to build a better world, but to draw on inner strength in the face of failure, distress, and tragedy. At Dow High, you have had the opportunity to build yourselves and others from coursework which compelled you to question, to reason, to inquire, and to inspire. Whether math, science, language arts, social studies, career and technical education, physical education, or the performing and visual arts, you have been given the chance to discover both knowledge and new passions to pursue 
as well as the moral and societal expectations which go with them. However, in pursuit of the mundane, we have subjected you to academic exercises which are sometimes foreign to learning. You have taken mandated standardized tests too numerous to mention, had prescribed instruction driven by data, been exposed to deficient online content, and sacrificed too many number two pencils. <laughs> Some of this was done to reflect a new, important emphasis on improving STEM education, a worthy goal in and of itself. But I'd like to emphasize HEM education. Human emotions matter. We could not possibly make a difference in your education without realizing that it is a personal, interactive venture. Your teachers care about you as a person as much as we care about teaching you content. You can't do the second without exalting the first. We dream of the time when our supposed leaders realize the fact that students and teachers are people, not human resources, to be used. State officials have legislated, mandated, and micromanaged you without ever understanding that teachers teach because they want to work with you as students and that the bond of teacher and pupil is stronger than attempts to belittle staff and their professional representatives. I promise not to pretend I know much about roads if legislators quit pretending to know much about classroom and education. I may be dreaming to believe that that will come true. Ben Morgan wrote in the update that yours is the generation which required recognition for everything. Ben's probably right about the trophy and certificate thing, but it was foisted upon you by adults who were frequently too eager to build a record of what you did rather than the much more important who you are. Texting and videoing took the place of actually being present. Society left behind the dream of you when it tried to sell you the idea that every extracurricular activity mattered in number rather than quality. They forgot the miracle. They forgot the vision. They forgot the dream. What is your dream for yourself? Is it college and great academic scores? Is it to serve your country? Is it to begin your work life? Is it to retire right now? I'm afraid that for many of you, the pressure is on to try to attain someone else's dream. In America today, this will mean too many of you will devote years of education and training toward gaining employment, only to find out that the demand of 60-hour work weeks has become normal, and your life, your dreams, are hostage to someone else's expectations. Some will argue that it's all necessary to get ahead to achieve more. What more? More time with your family? More time to spend with friends? More time to nourish yourself spiritually, creatively, physically? What more can you dream of than that? Your grandparents know that wisdom and perspective make you realize that no more in the workplace ever made up for more time with the people you love. They dream of time with you. Your young shall see visions, and your elderly shall dream dreams. My dream tonight is of those things, to know that you are self-sufficient, but also that you choose to help others less fortunate, to see your smiling face in the Midland Daily News in a wedding announcement, to hear that you took time off from the race for more to make a difference in charity or philanthropic work, to know that Dow High played a part in helping you grow into the people your teachers love. These may be my dreams, your parents' dreams, or even your dreams. However, I dream of you making people your focus and making the vision, the hope, the promise of America come true. Sweet dreams, class of 2015. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Mr. Shaheen. Now, I would like to introduce the class of 2015's second speaker, Mr. Jeremy Moore. He's a little bit shorter than I am. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Dow High School is a very special place. 
I'm not talking about the, the classrooms or the music facilities, the uh, chaotic parking lot, or the old and run-down bathrooms where dirt and graffiti come together in a strange, melodious harmony. <laughs> Speaking of which, guys, don't use the soap. Uh, several biology students ran a test on it, and the results do not look good. <laughs> no, what sets this school apart truly is the people inside it and the unwavering dedication and passion that each person here displays towards the things they care about. Mrs. Friedel, for instance, spends countless hours after school helping confused students. Ms. Kuznicki and Mrs. McDonald wait all day in the office to greet any visitors with a welcoming smile, and Mrs. Hecklick has transformed her class into a veritable, veritable kindergarten room, all for the sake of making sure that their students receive the best possible education. We have been so blessed to have such great teachers and mentors to guide us through high school. It is not just the adults that have meaningful passions to pursue, however. Nearly all of us, even as teenagers, have something that we are passionate about in a place in the school where we, for lack of better terms, simply belong. The various musical ensembles, the variety of clubs and classes for the tech savvy, sports for the athletes, drama for the thespians, and even unapologetically loud car shows are all supported at this school because the teachers and faculty understand just how important it is for us to discover the things that excite us and to be provided with as many opportunities as possible to grow in them. It is when we each develop a unique passion of our own, one that we truly love and cherish, that we really begin to separate ourselves from one another. Everybody will learn to add, subtract, read and write. However, there are only a few people here who are talented guitarists, gifted painters, or avid technicians. Dow High is full to the brim of people intensely passionate about a wide variety of activities. But despite exposure to such passionate people on a daily basis, I was unable to come up with an immediate definition for what it means to be passionate about an activity. It's a word we hear a lot between student government speeches and nearly every college essay we've written so far. The word passion becomes diluted in its meaning and intensity. Because of this, I sought to redefine it for myself. So I started by stating the obvious, that to be passionate about something, you had to first at least enjoy it, right? But that gave, that gave rise to several other questions. For example, what separates one's passions from other hobbies and interests? Splitting off the latter was a fairly simple task, as I figured that unlike the other two, an interest is only pursued when there's a due date attached or a grade to be had. However, defining the line between a passion and a hobby was a far more difficult task. So as with most questions of definition, these things really are a lot heavier um, than you remember them being. <laughs> I consulted this uh, strange and wonderful device that my parents call a dictionary. <laughs> so according to the dictionary, a hobby is defined as an activity done regularly in one's leisure time, whereas a passion is instead an intense desire or enthusiasm for something. And now I will attempt to put this back down. <laughs> Like, it looks heavy, and it is. <laughs> it's here that I arrived at my answer. There are many things in life that we will find enjoyable, but there are only a few that we will so love that limitless challenge and frustration will mean nothing because we will willingly confront it for the sake of excellence. Some of you have not yet discovered your passions, and really, that's okay. But when you hear people talking about leaving the comfort zone, this is what they mean. There is something out there for you, so find that passion and nurture it. As you prepare to graduate, don't forget to thank the many people who have helped bring you this far. Thank the many teachers, parents, and friends that have made the past four years worthwhile. But as you prepare to leave this school, don't forget to carry your passions with you on the next leg of the journey. High school was, for lack of a less corny line, merely the beginning, a place to experiment and to begin to discover some of the many things that interest you and some of the few things that you truly love. And now as we begin life on our own, I hope you continue to love and develop the passions that you have gained during your time at this amazing place. It can be easy to forget to make time for our passions, what with the business of life in college, the workforce, or the military. 
It can be easy to forego practicing and honing down the skills necessary for our arts in favor of, as many of us have already discovered, sleep and work. But even during the busiest of times, it is important to make room for the things that you love in life. Because when it all is said and done, it is your passions and the people and things you love that will ultimately give you focus and a reason for living. Congratulations, class of 2015, on a great four years. Now take the skills and talents you have gained during your time here and do something extraordinary. At this time, I would like to introduce our principal and the heart of Charger Spirit Everywhere, Mrs. Pamela Castle. Good evening, class of 2015. I am honored to be here tonight representing H.H. Dow High School staff and the Midland Public School District. I'm excited to be one of the first to congratulate our Charger parents and families on this joyous evening to celebrate your educational journeys. Thank you for sharing the H.H. Dow class of 2015, whom we are proud to graduate this evening. Tonight I want to recognize the numerous personal, academic, athletic, and club accomplishments achieved by this class. So first it is my privilege to acknowledge all military veterans, active duty, and all members of the class of 2015 who will leave here to serve in the armed forces. The H.H. Dow High family salutes all of you and extends a heartfelt thank you as we celebrate your commitment to serve our country. Would you please stand? class of 2015, have been preparing 12 years to answer a very important question. What now? You'll go forth after tonight into a world that is in need of new ideas, a world that must adapt to change. And your new ideas and perspectives will drive you to continue to excel in whatever you do. So you've certainly left your mark on the history of H.H. Dow High School. My highlights this evening are your accomplishments, class of 2015. The culmination of four years of dedication to your own personal success and to this great school. Your class has won awards at the district level, in the Saginaw Valley League, in the Great Lakes Bay region, at the state level, in national competition, international competition, and even represented H.H. Dow High in the world championship level. Class of 2015, tonight we celebrate you. So first and foremost, we are about academics. And our educational prowess is built on a history of excellence and an intense eye on the future. The class of 2015 is the 45th class to graduate from Herbert Henry Dow High School, and you carry on the legacy of excellence established here. U.S. News ranks H.H. Dow High School as among the top 6% in the state of Michigan. This great high school is for the fourth year in a row receiving a silver medal ranking. Academically, this graduating class of 2015 celebrates 18 summa cum laude students, 33 magna cum laude students, 52 cum laude students. In addition, there are 221 seniors on the honor roll in this outstanding class.
That report card is not the only one that recognizes what you have achieved, seniors. The class of 2015, with the guided support of HH Dow staff, have achieved much. I'd like to express my sincerest appreciation for the hard work of all members of the staff who've contributed to your successful completion of your high school graduation. They proudly walked you in this evening to send you off with their best wishes for your futures. More than 50 HH Dow High staff wrote over 700 letters of recommendation for students. The letters help students receive scholarships, college admissions, and jobs. And as of today, 159 of our 297 graduates have received scholarship money. This class of 2015 have been offered scholarships totaling over $11 million. So classes like you are what outstanding reputations are built on, and seniors, you have been an outstanding class of students. In addition to these academic achievements, you've contributed to the legacy of H.H. Dow through countless awards and recognitions. H.H. Dow had two competitive teams compete in the Nicholas Innovation Award this year. One of our teams won the prestigious award for the second year in a row. That award brings $20,000 to our school. The class of 2015 showed enduring commitment to service when 19 students completed the International Baccalaureate's creative action and service component. When you were asked to make music, the class of 2015 composed a memorable symphony of achievements in its tenure. The remarkable Charger Marching Band has 215 members and for the six years has been the largest marching band in the Great Lakes Bay region. Our Dow High Band, Choir, and Orchestra received Division I ratings at festivals. You put on two wonderful drama performances this year, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and the Spring Musical, Bring It On. You planned, led, and performed in the H.H. Dow Ren Fair. You made music and you made art, class of 2015, award-winning art. To date, our 2015 graduating seniors have been offered more than $970,000 from a diverse array of art schools. This year, H.H. Dow High School had students recognized by the Detroit News Catch. One senior received the top award in the performing arts category, and another was selected as an honorable mention in journalism. You continued to push boundaries of business ex expertise and were awarded recognition there as well. This year's marketing class earned the 2015 Education Excellence Award given by the Michigan Association of School Boards. Eleven senior merchandising students have been selected to receive mentorship to begin their own businesses. In the BPA State Competition, over 2,000 students from more than 100 schools competed. H.H. Dow sent eight students. Five had top ten finishes. Nine DECA students from H.H. Dow competed against 17,000 DECA members from around the world. Only the top 3% out of the 17,000 students competing were chosen and recognized as the best of the best. One senior rec received recognition for placing in the top 20 in the world. Our yearbook and update newspaper staffers earned 51 awards. Each member was awarded the highest honor, the Spartan Award. 
Delhi equestrian team members were district champions. Our novice debate team were state champions. Our varsity semifinalists. The Delhi Senior Project Day showcased 209 seniors who presented their capstone projects. The class of 2015 was relentless in service to the community in addition to these outstanding academic achievements. Students involved in National Honor Society, DECA, robotics, choir, student union, German club, volleyball team, football team, and many others dedicated themselves in activities to benefit others. From ringing bells, blood drives, generating pro products, creating businesses, and service to others, this student leadership gave over $22,000 to the following organizations this school year. Make-A-Wish, Erin's Gifts from Home, Breast Cancer Research, Open Door, Caregiving Network, Shelter House, Kids Against Hunger, and the Wounded Warrior Project. And when it came to engineering for results, the class of 2015, you raised the bar for future Charger classes. The Dow High Robotics team, 2619, the Charge, competed at the Robotics World Championship alongside 600 teams from nearly 60 nations and finished the year in the top 8% of robotics teams in the world. Dow High seniors placed in competition at Delta College Master Technical and Electric Technician levels and senior students also brought home awards in additive manufacturing skills. H.H. Dow High School enjoys a rich history and a tradition of athletic excellence. This year was no exception. These graduating student athletes are responsible for the following accomplishments. I got them all. We have 11 Saginaw Valley League team championships. Boys and girls tennis, volleyball, football, girls golf, girls swim, girls basketball, hockey, boys swim, girls lacrosse, boys lacrosse. We celebrate volleyball and girls soccer with district championships. Our boys tennis, girls tennis, girls golf, regional champions. Our boys and girls swim, boys and girls tennis, Girls golf teams all placed in the MHSAA state finals this year. Our girls tennis team was runner-up at the state championship last weekend. H.H. Dow teams celebrate eight SVL players of the year and six SVL coaches of the year. We've had numerous academic all-state members and more than a dozen student athletes who have received scholarships to attend colleges to play sports. Our cheer teams are Palmers, Green Army, Charger Nation. All of our students led Charger Spirit at every event this year in supporting their peers and you exemplified sportsmanship. The class of 2015 is strong with Charger Spirit. So what now? Now you go forth, class of 2015. You go into a world knowing that you have been prepared for what lies ahead. You've worked hard. You've earned your spot in the ranks of graduates that have come through H.H. Dow before you. I leave you with the words of a few pioneers that never hesitated to ask, what now? Ralph Waldo Emerson, do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. J.K. Rowling, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. And my favorite, Dr. Seuss, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself 
in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. You are the guy who will decide where to go. Seniors, now is the moment that you begin using what you have learned here to influence the future. You've been prepared, you've done the work, and it is your turn, class of 2015, to answer the question, what now? Thank you, and congratulations. And now I'll ask Ms. Angela Brandstadt, Vice President of the Midland Public Schools Board of Education, to come to the podium. Thank you, Mrs. Castle. Good evening. On behalf of the Midland Public Schools Board of Education, it is my pleasure and honor to accept the 45th H.H. Dow High School graduating class, the class of 2015. At this time, we will begin recognition of the individual members of the class of 2015. Please refrain from any applause until the last member of the class is recognized, so that all names may be heard. Please. Our first reader will be the class treasurer, Ms. Rachel Reardon. Madison May Adams, Julia May Arns, Cameron Ray Alexander, Cody Michael Alexander, Matthew Wayne Alsa, Alexandra Tadera Anale, Luke Joseph Anderson, Jeremy Russell Andreski, Michael Allen Anthony, Haley Karina Archer, Jonathan Michael Archuleta, Emily Grace Arthur, Helena Zwicky Atten, James Edward Babcock, Andrew Allen Baker, Karen Elizabeth Baker, <laughs> Kyle Gregory Baldwin, <laughs> Sanjay Balajapali, Mary Claire Bassett, <laughs> Tommy James Benham, Marcy Ann Bigelow, Rebecca Grace Biltz, Sarah Elizabeth Bishop, Wesley Terrence Blackmore, Caitlin Elizabeth Blakemore, Stephanie Elizabeth Bloom, Morgan Lane Booth, John Carl Bornheimer Jr., Campbell Frederick Bortle, Jake Riley Burrell, Madison Kate Bowen, Max Braun, Brett James Brillhart, Emily Michaela Bryans, Malcolm Jerome Brooks II, Caitlin Nicole Bryant, Nicole Amanda Buckingham, Kyle Anthony Burlingame, Leanne Marie Burlingame, 
Samantha Sue Burlingame, <laughs> Elizabeth Grace Burr, Dane Lee Burton, <laughs> Seth Allen Carlson, <laughs> Cole Thomas Karnick, <laughs> Lauren Nicole Cassidy, Hayden Cole Cedarstrom, Anushka Chakraborty, Carolyn Huijin Chang, Antoine Denis Chavet, Mark Chamba, Matthew Dean Christian, Joyce Chu, Caroline Inga Siprulak, Paul Michael Cochran, Michaela Janiel Cole, Skylar Jeffrey Cantardi, Logan Connor Cook, Amber Marie Coombe, Nicholas John Coon, Jackson Monroe Craig, Eli Matthew Cross, Arturo Cuellar, Sophia Nastasia Cupo, Carly Joe D'Alessandro, Cecilia Aymara Da Silva, Luke Robert Dankert, Jake Ellis Davidson, Christopher Taylor Dean, Ellie Genevieve Dean, Evan Robert Deleuz, Kelly Ann DeReese, Brandon Christopher Durstein, Lauren Marie DeMerk, Nicole Lynn Dobjaleski. Rebecca Plasia Dogel, Connor Griffin Doyle, Nathan Jared Drolly, Grace Elizabeth Du Bois, Madeline Louise Ann Eckert, Taylor Andrew Adley. Ashley Nicole Elvalaw, Andrew Michael Enline, Kristen K. Evans, Christian John Farmer the Fourth, the second son, <laughs> Joseph John Fiore the Fourth, Cheyenne Marie Fisher. Matthew David Flanagan, Kayla Beth Fournier, Hannah Lee Frazier, Courtney Lee Gage, Rebecca Helen Gamble, Maritza Yvonne Garcia, Ashley Deborah Gasman, Caitlin Nicole Gee, Stephen Ray Gossett, <laughs> Cody James Graham, Dalton Stephen Grimes, Dylan Patrick Grimes. Samir Kumar Gupta, <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Hall, Grace Leon Hansen, Hope Catherine Harnois, McKenna Catherine Hartman, 
Saeed Azim Hassan. Mason Albert Hayes. Brooke Ann Headley. Julia Ellen France Henry. Jana Ray Higgins. Sarah Ann Hershey. Tanner John Hitchcock. Jack Elliot Hoig. Zachary Douglas Hoffman. Miles Payne Hooper. Victoria Marie Hopper. Sophia Jean Horney. Shane Heisman. Fritz Carlton Hyde the Fifth. Kayla Nicole Ignatowski. Skylar Evan James. David Martin Jagler the Third. Michaela Elizabeth Diana Jewell. Madeline Kate Johnson. Nicholas Maxwell Jones. Kylie Marie Jude. Kaylee Marie Keenan. Griffin Iger Kinjorski. James Joseph Cannon. Stephen James Kepner. Max John Kid the Fourth. Yun Gyu Kim. Ryan Andrew Kisting. Rebecca Jean Class. Matthew Allen Kleinsorge. Catherine Marie Clear. Rodney John Klingler. Lauren Dean Cook. Gavin Michael Koju. Aaron Grace Kreitzberg. Kevin William Kreitzberg. Madison Lee Cook. Alexis Bree Cushmaw. Brandy Nicole Lafontaine. Justin Paul LaForest. Rachel Celeste LaFrance. Benjamin Robert Lamb. Sydney Elizabeth Blacklow. Ty Allen Larson. Carissa Lee LaRue. Sarah Margaret Leather. Annabelle Priscilla Lauren. Ellen Shea Levine. Brooke Lenhart. Brianna Ann Lutz. Joshua Thomas Loisel. Alyssa Marianne Love. Bailey Elizabeth Love, Emily May Lyman, Jesse Lee Mack, Jordan David McKay, Jennifer Ann McGurl, Daniel Adrian Magno, Jordan Lucas Martin, 
Christina Marie Martinsky. <laughs> Alec Ryan Marty. Christopher Neil Mason. Megan Renee Matthews. Lydia Marie Mail. Keely Maynan McCaffrey. Carly Janae McGee. Alexis Ann McKellar. Corey James McLaughlin. Catherine Teal McMahon. Patrick Sullivan McMahon. Jordan Lee Robert McRoberts. Jacob Richard Mary. Ian Robert Mersman. Kyle Robert Mesler. Griffin James Mativia. Hannah Marie Militello. Alexis K. Lynn Miller. Kayla Jane Miller. Obada Mohammed Mohidan. Audrey Catherine Molinar. Jeremy Philippe Moore. Sana Kumar Moore. Benjamin Allen Morgan. Andrew Charles Morley. Maxwell Robert Music. Hunter Robert Musselman. Emily Jane Nagel. Isla Bell Nanny. Nicholas Robert Nelson. Eric James Nesbitt. Andrew Allen Newcomb. Kogi Nishida. Mary Elizabeth Noble. Alexandria Marie Nunn. Parker Paige O'Neill. Spencer Miles O'Hare. Brigham Clark Ostergaard. Tristan McKee Owen. Catherine Lee Pahokey. Matthew Robert Painter. Elena Christine Perillo. Megan Laurel Harlow. Joshua David Passett. <laughs> Natalia Patronina. <laughs> Emily Noel Peterson. <laughs> Zachary Taylor Phillips. <laughs> Joshua Timothy Pilgrim. <laughs> Maya Chase Piper. Mackenzie Ann Peary. <laughs> Japheth Ballard Pitt. Mark Anthony Plant. Jameson Matthew Panachek. Amanda Jo Paprivka. Jill Elise Poliski. Shannon Wei-Yan Poon. Jasmine Marie Pertel. Jenna Rose Query. Danielle Nicole Rapanos. Rachel Marie Reardon. Connor William Reed. Jordan Lance. Andrew Ryan Reddig, Caleb Joseph Richard, Ray Richardson Jr., Amanda Pearl Richardson, John Robert Riley, Austin James Roberts, Krista Ray Rodriguez, 
Benjamin Russell Roeder. McKenna Alexandra Root. Thomas Leon Ross III. Madeline Sophia Sagers. Jake Clayton Sauvé. Brooke Janae Shearing. Oliver Rain Schill. Sydney Ann Schroeder. Thomas John Schultz. Andrew Vanya Schultz. Jeffrey Owen Searle. Zachary Jaron Seymour. Heather Marie Sheets. Rebecca May Shoemaker. Sarah Marie Shoemaker. Bailey Ray Cyan. Jesse Joel Cyan. Abraham David Siraki. Jared Michael Skinner. Amy Nicole Sklenar. Paul Michael Joseph Smith, Connor Scott Smith, Mitchell James Smith, Bradley McCormick Somer, Murphy Dana Stadelmeyer, Gabriel William Stevens, Abigail Elizabeth Stoles. Alyssa Renee Stone. Jackson Alexander Storer. Kayla May Stryker. Cindy Tay. Nathan Douglas Thurston. Jessica Marie Tobin. So done. Casey Lee Toms. James Evan Tong. Pimpachron Tong Strigao. Arlo Elizabeth Turpin. Giada Baglietti. Savannah Lauren Valdez. Armin Paul Velazza Margal. Eva Aga Ahata Van Osten. Sorry. James B. Vanderkellen. Brandon and Michael Ray Vile. Benjamin James Virgo. Laura Jean Voss. Chad Anthony Wasco. <laughs> Noble Richard Weckeser. <laughs> Kaylee Brianne Ware. Andrew Charles Wells. Brandy Leon Wheeler. Brandon Michael Wickman. Lee Austin Wilford. Cole Edward Williamson. Blake Anthony Douglas Wilson. Connor James Wilson. Reese Wilson. Samantha Lynn Wilson. Jeremy Michael Whistler. Christiana Mary Ruth Wolford. Zachary Michael Wood. Mia Morgan Yamamoto. Nicholas Yo Lin Ho. Robin Elizabeth Young. Joshua Wen Tao Zhao. 
Helen Zell. Woo! Mazen Rahman Zia. And Morgan Elaine Zeller. Well, we made it. Now, I would like all the members of the class of 2015 to please rise. At this time, to mark the formal transition from student to graduate, please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. Now we ask all Dow High School graduates in the audience to please join us and rise as we sing the alma, our alma mater. Lead us off, chamber singers. Now, we ask that all of our wonderful audience members remain in their seats and please allow the graduates to move to the cafeteria to receive their actual diplomas. Audience members, you may rejoin your graduates in the cafeteria. Graduates of the class of 2015, our congratulations. Thank you.